Good day mga kamaters, mga math enthusiasts, and resilient students. Have a blessed day. Welcome to second quarter in learning mathematics 6. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe sa aking channel and hit the notification para updated kayo sa mga latest videos in learning mathematics 6. Our topic to be discussed today is about Expressing one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. In short, concept of ratio. Are you ready, mga commuters? Let us start. What is ratio? Ratio is the spoken language of arithmetic. It is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same units. The quantities may be separate entities or they may be different parts of a whole. Let us take a look in our Philippine flag. Let us compare using the ratio. What is the ratio of sun to stars? How many sun do we have in our Philippine flag and how many stars do we have? Yes, that is 1 is to 3. 1 sun and 3 stars. Number 2, what is the ratio of stars to sun? And that is correct. 3 is to 1. What is the ratio of stars to sun rays? And the answer is 3 is to 8. We can write ratio in three ways. In word form, in colon form, or in fraction form. Let us take a look in this problem. There are 25 male students, 20 female students, and 5 teachers in a Google Meet. What is the ratio of male students to female students? That is correct. 25 is to 20 as in word form and 25 is to 20 in colon form and 25 over 20 in fraction form. Number 2. What is the ratio of female students to the teachers? So, we have 20 female teachers and 5 teachers. So, the ratio is 20 is to 5. Write it in colon, colon form. 20 is to 5. And in fraction form, 20 is to 5. Remember, colon read as is 2. Number 3. What is the ratio of of female students to all students. How many female students? Yes, 20. And the total number of students is 45. So the ratio is 20 is to 45. And what is the ratio of teachers to students in the Google Meet? There are 5 teachers and 45 students. So 5 is to 45 in word form. 5 is to 45 in colon form and 5 over 45 for fraction form. Remember, 3 ways to write ratios. Okay, mga commuters, but wait, there's more. Our answer na 25 is to 20, 20 is to 5, 20 is to 45, and 5 is to 45 is not our final answer because ratio must be expressed in simplest form which means that the terms are relatively prime to each other in our situation there are 25 male students and 20 female students in and five teachers in a google meet what is the ratio of male students to Female students, ilan ang male and how many are female? Very good, 25 is to 20. Then, let us express this in simplest or lowest term by getting the GCF or the greatest common factor of 25 and 20. And what is the GCF? Very good, that is 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So meaning, there are 5 male students to 
four female students. So, five is to four. About this one, what is the ratio of female students to teachers? Yes, 20 is to 5. There are 20 female students and 5 teachers. So, let us express this in simplest form. What is the GCF of 20 and 5? GCF again tayo. What number? Okay, that is 5. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, meaning... There are four female students or one teacher. How about this one? What is the ratio of teachers to students? Yes, 5 is to 45 because the total number of students is 45. 25 plus 20. So, the GCF is still 5. Divide, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. So the ratio of teachers to students is 1 is to 9. Let us express the following ratios in simplest or lowest term. 10 is to 12. What is the GCF? Okay, that is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, our final ratio is 5 is to 6. Okay, this is the GCF, the 2. Next, 18 is to 24. What is the GCF of 18 and 24? Good job, that is 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 24 divided by 6 is so, our uh, ratio is 3 is to 4. How about this? 40 minutes to 1 hour. So, let us express first this 1 hour into minutes. So, how many minutes are there in 1 hour? So, there are 60 minutes. Ayan, pareho na sila na quantity. 40 is to 60. So, let us express 40 is to 60 in lowest term. What will be our answer? What is the GCF of 40 and 60? Okay, so 20. Sige, let us try. 40 divided by 20 is 2. 60 divided by 20 is 3. Okay, so our lowest term is 2 is to 3. Good job. How about this one? Three decades to 20 years. So decades means, okay, so that is 30 years. Very good because decade means 10 years. So it will become 30 years is to 20 years. So let us express this 20 is to uh, 30 is to 20 in lowest term. Cancel the 0. Then, the remaining number is 3 is to 2. Very good. Okay, next, 8 months to 1 year. So, months and year. So, this year, gawin mo natin siyang months. How many months are there in a year? Good job. That There are 12 months. So, the ratio is 8 is to 12. Then express in lowest term. Divide by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our ratio, lowest term ratio is 2 is to 3. And the last, 50 centimeter to 1 meter. Remember, how many centimeters are there in 1 meter? Very good. 100 centimeter. Okay. So, this will become 50 is to 100. And let us express in lowest term, 50 is to 100. Cancel natin unang 0 and another 0. It will become 5 and 10. 
Then 5 will be the GCF. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our uh, ratio is 1 is 2, 2. Okay, did you get it? Okay, thank you. Very good. Let us try another. This is about equivalent ratios. Mother is preparing calamansi juice. For each glass of calamansi juice, 5 pieces of calamansi are needed. Remember, mga kamaters, always drink calamansi juice or any fresh juices para uh, malabanan natin ang ating uh, mga sakit and to boost our immune system. And calamansi is very, very nutritious of fruits. So let us take a look on our problem. If she makes two glasses, how many pieces of calamansi are needed? Let us go back. Mother is preparing calamansi juice for its glass of calamansi juice. Five pieces of calamansi are needed. What is the first ratio? Okay, very good. One is two, five. Okay, next. If she makes two glasses, how many pieces of calamansi are needed? Okay, two is two, ten. So, Mother needs 10 glasses, uh, 10 pieces of calamansi. If she makes 3 glasses, how many pieces of calamansi are needed? Okay, 15. Very good. If she makes 4 glasses, how many pieces of calamansi are needed? And 20 pieces of calamansi. So, 1, one is to 5, 2 is to 10. 3 is to 15 and 4 is to 20 are called equivalent ratios. How about this one? 2 is to 3. Can you name some fractions which is equal to 2 is to 3? Or ratio which is equal to 2 is to 3? Very good. 4 is to 6. Another 6 is to 9. And 8 is to 12. They are equivalent ratios. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. So they are equal. If we are going to write it in fraction form, they are still equal. Cross multiply 2 times 6, 12. 3 times 4 is 12. So they are equivalent ratios. Next, 4 is to 8. Yes, 5 is to 10, 6 is to 12, and 7 is to 14. So, these are equivalent ratios. 10 times 6, 60. 5 times 12 is 60. So, meaning they are equivalent ratios. There are instances when terms of ratio do not have the same units or classification. For example, 60 kilometers to an hour or 60 kilometer per hour. This spatial ratio is called rate. So we are going to discuss what is rate. Let us try this one. Joshua scored 168 points in 7 basketball games. Expressed in lowest terms, the average rate of number of points that Joshua scored every game. So, 168 divided by 7. Okay, 16 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. And 16 minus 14 is 2. Bring down 8. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And 4 times 7 is 28. So, what is the average rate of number of points that Joshua scored every game? So, 24 points in a game. 24 points per game. Let us try another. Joanna can type 288 words in 8 minutes. How many words can she type per minute? The ratio is 
288 words is to 8 minutes. So, all we have to do is to divide 288 divide by 8. 28 divided by 8 is what? Okay, 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And 28 minus 24 is 4. Bring down 8. 48 divided by 8 is 6. And 6 times 48, uh, 6 times 8 is 48. And the answer is 36 words per minute ang kanyang natatype. Let us apply. Altea and Shikaina joined the ladies basketball tryout. Altea scored 34 points in her two games, while Shikaina scored 51 in her three games, whose average point per game is higher. Remember kids, during this pandemic, basketball is not allowed. But remember, you have to have some sports. Kinakailangan natin yan na may sports tayo. So kapag wala na, you, you, you can try to play basketball. Okay, so let us go to our problem. Whose average point per game is higher? Altea or Shikaina? So Altea as a ratio of 34 is to 2, while Shikaina is 51 is to 3. So, let us see the rate. 34 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down 4. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 7 times 2 is 14. So, meaning... Altea has 17 points per game. How about Shikaina? So this is uh, 51 divided by 3. 51 divided by 5 divided is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down 1. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 7 times 3 is 25. One. So, Shikaina scored 17 points per game as her average. So, meaning no one of them got the higher point. They have the same point, Altea and Shikaina, which is 17 points per game. I hope that you learned something new today about the ratio, writing ratio in three ways. Simplest or lowest term of ratio, equivalent ratios, and rate. That's all for today, mga kamatters sa mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Stay safe, stay at home, and see you again on my next video about ratio and proportion. Bye everyone!